All right, I apologize for that little break, little intermission, but I had to get back on my uh, job thing before they exit me out. But anyway, let's get back to Roman Catholicism, where you were birthed out of, um, your mother. Uh, so all of this is transpiring up in Europe with Roman Catholicism. Once again, Roman Catholicism means the way that the Romans practice Catholicism, which means universal, just how they all practice. So the Romans made their own thing up. It was an abomination. Um, it came from Constantine. Constantine took this and said, hey, listen, we're going to create this thing, a religion. We're going to actually literally create a religion out of this book. And this is how we're going to rule this particular region. So while they were doing that in Rome, they became so powerful and it united them that they started spreading out all throughout Europe. Remember, they hadn't left Europe yet. They had to conquer Europe first with their religious etiquette, with, with their religious rhetoric. So they went through Europe first and conquered everybody via this religion. Either you converted or you died. It's as simple as that. Um, a lot of people were killed. Um, they killed a lot of people for not denouncing the way that they believed or what they believed. They assimilated a lot of pagans. On um, This is where you get Christmas, um, this is where you get Easter because of the assimilation of the groups around them, the pagan groups. Um, they allowed them to continue to worship the things that they worship, but they just gave it a Christian veneer or a Catholic look to it. Um, they started adding a lot of different things because they wanted, this was their religion. They just used this book to push their religion. So now they have a book, uh, 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 like I said before, that their, their version of the Hebrew text was in Latin. People were forbid, or, or you couldn't read it. You couldn't own one, you couldn't have one, or you would be put to death. So after they had taken over their region, then they started moving. This is why you look in Brazil, you got that big Jesus thing standing up there, that, that, that hippie standing on the hill uh, with that long beard, long hair. Looking over Brazil, because they went down there, they conquered that region. They imposed their they, they imposed this religion on them. They, every, they, they, everybody knows about the, uh, the um, Inquisitions, all that stuff. They went everywhere, propagating, promoting. And if you look, Roman Catholicism is so big around the world because they use this as an instrument. They go marching in with this cross saying, oh, look, look see, this is, this, this, is, this is in this book. No, it's not. None of what they were teaching was actually in here. They were teaching indulgences. They were teaching this, 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 this. But I'm not going to spend a lot more time in that because most of you know about Roman Catholicism and, and, and how bad it is. But let's get to your birthplace, Christian, because you came out of Roman Catholicism. You had a man that, that, um, that was born, I don't know exactly when he was born, but his name was Martin Luther. And in 1528, he, he did a reformation thing. Okay, he was, a, he was studying to be a lawyer. Something happened, he got caught in a rainstorm, it was thundering and lightning, in accordance to him, he prayed, he prayed to God if he spares life, that he would change and he would go into the clergy. So, uh, of course, he didn't die. He, he started studying to become a monk, a priest, and all this stuff. So, he could read. So, he could read Latin. So, he was reading the book, and he was reading the book, and then he's preaching, but he's looking for the stuff that he's talking about that he's being told to tell the people, and he's like, yo, none of this is in this book. None of what we're talking about is in this book. Y'all talking about indulgences, y'all talking about this, you're talking about Virgin Mary is, is a deity, and you're talking about all this stuff. It's not in this book. So he broke loose from the Roman Catholic faith, and he created what was called the Protestant movement which you are, a Protestant. He created the Protestant movement. Now, here's the thing. He didn't go back to the source. He didn't go back to the source of the book. What he did was he created his own thing, which was ultimately an abomination too. It was no better than the Roman Catholics. It was an abomination. So now you have the Protestant movement, i.e., you guys, the Catholics, the Christians, this is where you derive from. So, how did you end up with it? The Protestant movement, Protestant movement didn't make a big, you know, push uh, outside of Europe for quite some time. But when they started to leave and started to bring under uh, subjection um, different people because of the papal bulls that 
the Roman Catholic Church, the, the Pope will write and say, look, you can bring anybody who doesn't believe in Christianity or Roman Catholicism, excuse me, Roman Catholicism, you can enslave them. And this is where you had the transatlantic slave trade come into play. Hence that letter that that man wrote. Now you got the transatlantic slave trade coming into play. So now, once they're kidnapping all of you off the west coast of Africa, taking you, enslaving you, first thing they're doing is baptizing you, bringing you up and you're a Christian, putting you on a boat and, and taking you to the new world, Brazil, all these different places, taking you. Now, the only thing that they, now remember, the 1611 was in play now. So that's the Bible that they had. And they were, everywhere they went, they were promoting this, this particular version of the Bible. So this is how, this is the one that you subscribe to and so many people outside of Rome and all those different places subscribe to the 1611 because of this. So they were baptizing you as a Christian, bloop, putting you on a boat, taking you to the plantation. Now you could not read. So where did your doctrine come from? There were, there were pastors on the plantation, but you couldn't read. So where did your, where did your information come from? I'm going to tell you where you got your doctrine, Christians. It's a book called Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington. Great book. You got to pick it up and read. It's a real short read. Booker T. Washington was a slave. But after um, the slaves were emancipated or freed, uh, Booker T. went to college, to school, to college. He was a man, a real smart guy. But anyway, he told about what he seen when he was on the plantation. He said how black people learned Christianity was because they would stand outside of the church that was on the plantation while Massa and them was having church. Now, you might be, oh, this is racist, but this is how you got this. Because you couldn't read. Even if you had a Bible which was forbidden, you couldn't read. So how was you getting this and passing it along? You could not read. So Booker T. Washington tells how on the plantation, the blacks would stand out and listen to the white preacher in the church. And then they would come back and they would be self-proclaimed preachers and all this stuff. And they would be propagating the message as if they had read it. You didn't read it. This is how you got your doctrine. This is how you got your doctrine. This is how you came about. This is how you took on that title as Christian. Because you took, because this is what they were calling themselves. So you said, oh, we must be Christians too. We Christians too. Because that's what massive worship. Now, you, you can say that that's strong, old oh, man. See, no. That's what happened. Read, all you got to do is study. And see, this is one of the, this is one of the issues. We don't study because we just want to be set. We want to sit there and be fed information. That's how you ended up with this abomination in the first place, sitting and listening because you couldn't read. So once you got that information, it started there. Once you got that information, you took it, transmitted it to the children, who transmitted it to their children, and so on and so forth, all the way down the line. You were already indoctrinated generationally. So when you read this book, you've seen it a certain way because you were already indoctrinated from the beginning, from the plantation. You were indoctrinated to see it this way. And this is why this doctrine that you guys hold on to, you Christians, this is, this is why you have it today. The same stuff that they was preaching all the way back then is the same stuff y'all preaching now. Outside of prosperity, that's some new fangled stuff y'all into. Um, so this is where your abortion comes from. It comes from the plantation. It comes from the Roman Catholics who formed a religion up there and based it off of this, but you can't find anything that they're talking about in here. Goes down to Martin Luther. So when people say, you're, you're, uh, you're practicing a white man religion, they're actually right. They're actually 100% correct. So if you go to Africa and you see them say, well, the, the, the blacks in Africa, they weren't until it was brought down. They were practicing other stuff. This was birthed out of Europe. So this is where your, abor uh, your abortion comes from. And once again, this is not your book. This is why y'all create all these scenarios and blah, 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 and, and, and God gave me and revealed to me. Let, me. let me touch on that before I close about God revealing stuff to y'all, God talking to you, spirits and all this stuff. Speaking in tongues, flopping like fish. None of that's biblical first. 
except for the speaking in tongues, but we, we'll get to that another time. Let me explain this to you. It, I believe it is a spirit talking to you, but it can't be the spirit of Yah, because the spirit of Yah is not confusion. How do I say that that spirit that y'all worship is confusion? Because you've got almost 1,500 denominations in Christianity. If it's one spirit, one baptism, like Paul said, one spirit, one baptism, why is this spirit telling everybody so many different things? You got Baptists who the Spirit done told them something. You got Pentecostals, the Spirit done told them something. You got the Jehovah Witnesses, the Spirit done told Boy, that Spirit is crazy, cutting up. And if that's the Spirit y'all worshiping, man, I don't want to do, I don't have nothing to do with it. Period. So, this would actually make you atheists, Christians, because you're not worshiping the God of this Bible. You're worshiping a creation that Constantine started, the Romans, later the Pope, continued along those lines. Martin Luther would have taken it, polished it up a little bit, gave it his little, let me polish this over here, and rub this over here, and then he brought it and handed it to, to the, yeah, hey, here you go. And then they brought it, and when they picked you up on the boat, they baptized you in the name of Jesus Christ, who, come on, man, hippie on the stick. Um, you baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, who was not even hung up on the cross, you got some hippie on a stick that you're bowing down to. It's all idol worship. But see, the first thing you want to say is, oh, we're under attack. But you don't hesitate to open your mouth and speak about other people's religion. So I'm going to take the time and just speak about yours today. How about that? So I hope I've offended a lot of you, but at the same time, I hope I've enlightened a lot of you. Because this is where your religion came from. It came from Europe. It was formed to control Europe. It has nothing to do with this book at all, zero to do with this book. And you were forced converted into it. Whether you would like it or not, that's the history of your religion. This is not your book. You're not worshiping that God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You're worshiping something that was created in Europe for, to control Europe and later you come down and try to control the entire world. And that's what it is. So once again, man, like I always say, man, man, listen, I love bringing wisdom to the wise. And when you don't have an opinion and you do not know how to think, I will give you an opinion. It's a beautiful day. Get out. Enjoy the day. I love y'all, man. I'll see y'all on the next edition.